Johnson coming to you live with Susan Faulkner Evans and Bo. We're working on a half halt, his talk by Robert Dover, where the rider holds in their breath and they feel the breath coming up between their shoulder blades in the top. And at the same time, they bring their seat forward, close their legs, and close their hands in a fist. As soon as the horse responds, she lets go on the outside rein so that he has room to go. She's working for the trot now. Good. And this is our warm up. Good news is he's already tracking up. Yes, yes. Well, it takes a while. So, uh, Bo's done very well in the show ring. He was fourth in the nation for training level championships. And last year he got eighth place at the regionals and second level. But he came to us with issues that we've been working through. As you can see, he still has them, but they just take, take time, more time. And so now the good news is, is we've got him tracking up pretty consistently, over tracking. Good, good. That's it, and start adding some movements to it. Now think as you come around the corner, because you're feeling when he drops his back, even in the warm-up, right? Yeah. When you feel that, do the half halt as you sit. That's right, and you might have to sit two steps at first. And then praise him as soon as he lets go. Good, good, it puts him under his seat nicely. It puts you under his seat again. So now like every 10 steps or 15, do a half halt just to check if he starts, so that he starts listening to you. It's in the middle of the winter here. We finally have a nice day. So we're out here playing with the ponies. Good boy. Good, good. And then praise him. Good. Oh, that's it. And remember to do the same thing when you lengthen. So whenever you need a half halt or to readjust his balance, you're going to think of the half halt coming through as a breath, bringing your shoulder blades together, bringing your seat forward as you close your leg and your hands, and then you let go as soon as you feel him start to pick you up with praise. Good, good. He's already in a better balance, Susan. I mean, he started out being in a good balance, but this is his warm-up and he's already in a better balance. That's very nice. Good. Yep, and then on the long sides, when you get the time, do a little lengthening. Do the same thing. Do the half halt. Hug with your legs. You know, tuck your seat. Hug with your legs. Bring your seat forward in the saddle is what that really means. Hug with your legs. Close your hands. Get him to shorten his body. And then send him forward by lengthening your rein and praising him. Good, good. I like how you're posting into that. Good. Yes, you're starting to feel when he's doing that. So you want to think, like right there he's dropping you, so start thinking you're going to ride from half halt to half halt. So do a half halt, feel him connect with you, praise him. Good, good. And then ride him forward until he drops his balance, which will, you know, maybe be less than 10 steps. And then you're going to half halt him again to put him together to get a longer stride and more forward again. <laughs> Good. Now, if he wants to canter, that's all right, too, when you ask him. So the same thing, when you're ready for him to canter, you're going to do the half halt with your position and ask him to canter. Because so I know he's still warming up, and, you know, this is Bo. You can see he's really thinking about it. Good. There he's finally blowing a little bit. That's when he's releasing his rib cage. Good.
Yeah, he feels you changing your body there. Yeah, and he's real happy with that. <laughs> she said he, she's trying to keep him on the inside hind as she goes around the curve. So to bring get the inside hind under him more, bring his shoulder over more with your outside rein and leg. He will be thrilled with that too, I'm sure. Praise him. That's right, and then let him go. By letting go, we're not letting him go completely loose. We're just asking him to go forward freely. Good, good. And then let him go no longer than three seconds for your half halt. That's it. <laughs> good. Bring his shoulder over more with your out. That's it. He's not going to like it because you're making him balance on that inside hind. You can feel it, can't you? He's like, I can't do this. Yeah. Good. That's it, bring a shoulder over. Good, and you can do it by starting like a 10 meter circle or an eight meter circle or whatever. So think of that and then just go straight. That's it, you're gonna start a curve, get him on the inside hind, then go straight until he drops it. When he drops it, you're going to do another half halt with your breath, going all the way through your seat, hugging with your leg and holding with your, your fist for just three seconds, one, two, three, encourage him to go forward on a longer rein and praise him. That's his reward. Good, and at first he may not go forward like he will, as you know, he's still warming up. Good. That's it, and then let him go flow. The hard part, we'll be doing it for only three seconds. We know after three seconds he starts going comfortably numb. Good. So we're always working at finding ways through Bo's different issues. Some days he's very good, other days he questions what we do, and other days he's just figuring it out like you can see he's doing today. Good, good! Do you feel how it's changing his step? Take your time. Good. Bo will be competing in second level this year. Good. Let him go forward and praise him. That's it. So every time after you do the half halt, you're going to think, how forward can you get him? Well, from your seat, because you're learning how to use your driving aid a little bit different when we add the half halt to it like this. Good. Same thing to drive him forward. Take the breath because we want him to start realizing when you take a breath, you're going to ask him to rebalance. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Did you feel him at responding any differently? This would be a new thing for both of you, but perfect timing to do it. And for everybody else that's watching. What did you feel changing as we did this? Well, it's kind of that when I would hold him, then then when I would let go, then he would like almost burst off. Yes. A little bit. Just yeah, a little bit. That's a little bit. A subtly. lot for him. <laughs> subtly. Yeah. Oh, good, good. Good boy.